Welcome to the Har Next Door. This is our favorite new horror trailers from July 2024. All the trailers discussed in this video will be linked below. Don't forget to leave a comment of what you think of these trailers. And if you like this video, would you kindly subscribe? Now, on with the trailers. Consumed. A married couple's celebratory camping trip finds them trapped between a madman and a skin-stealing monster. Consume stars Devin Sawa, who you might know from Final Destination and Idle Hands. Consume releases August 16th. So right off the bat, I just want to say that this month's trailers were a little bit of a slim pickings. It wasn't that there wasn't an abundance of horror movie trailers. It was just that there wasn't really that many good ones. So although some of you might not think that this movie looks all that great, compared to a majority of the ones that I sat through, this trailer actually looks really awesome. Also, I think Devin Sawa looks like a badass in this trailer. I think for me personally, one of the selling points for me wanting to watch this is just to see him be a badass, to be completely honest with you. They don't show very much of the monster or monsters that are going to be in this movie, but they do hint that it's a Wendigo. I know there's a lot of horror films based upon Wendigos, but my fondest memory of something horror related that involves Wendigos is the video game Until Dawn. I think that was really fun. Honestly, up until that point, I wasn't really exposed very much to the Wendigo monster. If you're in the horror video games, I recommend go checking it out. But this movie looks awesome. This movie looks fun. Devin Sawa looks awesome. I think it's actually kind of funny that I'm talking about a horror film with Devin Sawa in it because just the other day I rewatched the original Final Destination and as you know he's the main star of the film and I was thinking as I was watching the movie you know I keep hearing these rumors online that they're going to make another Final Destination movie and I'm like man it would actually be kind of cool if they brought Devin Sawa back for a Final Destination sequel and have him just be like this, almost like how he is in this trailer for Consumed, have him just be this hermit guy that's been living off the grid trying to escape death. And he's been doing this for 20 some years or some shit. And here we are. Somebody finds him and shit happens. I don't know. That's just how I feel. Who knows if they're going to make another Final Destination movie or not. But Consumed looks cool. It looks fun. Can't wait to check it out. Last Straw. A small town killing spree lands on the doorstep of a rural diner where a young waitress must fight for her life over the course of one long night. Last Straw stars Jessica Belkin and Jeremy Sisto, who you might know from Wrong Turn and May. Last Straw releases September 20th. So the thing that I really liked about this trailer is just the fact that it kind of feels like a your next type situation or a the strangers type situation. It's just these masked killers trying to take out this girl and she's all alone in the middle of the night locked inside of a diner. So of course, the idea has been done before in other movies like The Strangers and things like that, but it still looks cool. It still looks fun. I actually honestly did not recognize Jeremy Sisto in the trailer. I didn't realize it was him until I looked up the IMDb page. I'm kind of curious how brutal or how bloody this movie is going to be. Is it going to be more on the tamer side or are we going to get some awesome kills or whatnot? Not exactly sure how many kills the movie will actually have because we have one girl in a diner and then we have a few killers. It looks like there's at least two, maybe three. I'm just guessing at some point it looks like a police officer shows up. So there's another body to add to the count. The masks that the invader guys seem to be wearing are just like random faces of people. Those like flimsy plastic masks that you would see at like spirit Halloween, but it's just like a face of a person. One of them looks like an old man or an old lady or something like that. 
The other one looks more like a old school, like pinup type lady. And in one shot, it looks like it has like a nurse hat on. They are kind of creepy, especially the nurse looking mask. Based on what I've seen in the trailer, it looks like there's at least three different killers because I see three distinct different masks. But who knows? There could be more. For someone like me who loves slasher movies, this trailer just really stood out to me. I think even one of the text crawls that come on the screen, it said something about a home invasion feel. So it kind of does really remind me of like a your next. I think that's the closest thing I can kind of put it with. It's your next only the girl is all alone. There's nobody else there and she's in a diner instead of a house. I have a feeling that there's going to be some kind of twist to this. I like making guesses on these things based off the trailer and putting them in these videos because later when I watch the movie or whenever the movie comes out, I can say, hey, I guessed right. And I called it, you know, three months ago or four months ago before the movie came out. So there's a shot earlier in the trailer where the girl gets to the diner for the first time in that particular day. She seems to be in the kitchen and she's talking to all the uh, teenage looking guys that are the cooks. And my initial thought is those guys that are the cooks that work in the kitchen, they are these dudes that are coming and messing with her. That's just my prediction. We'll see what happens, but this movie looks cool and I can't wait to check it out. Terrifier 3. Art the Clown is set to unleash chaos on the unsuspecting residents of Miles County as they peacefully drift off to sleep on Christmas Eve. Damien Leone is back as writer and director. David Howard Thornton is back as Art the Clown. And Lauren Levera is back as Sienna. Terrifier 3 releases October 11th. So I know this is another teaser trailer, but they showed us a little bit more, obviously, this time than they did last time. So I must say, even though Halloween is my favorite holiday, and I'm sure it is for you as well, I really do like the idea that this takes place on Christmas. I love the imagery of Art the Clown dressed as Santa. I just think that's brilliant. I really kind of hope he wears the Santa outfit for a good portion of the film. Like maybe from like the middle of the movie to the end of the movie, he's just wearing the Santa costume. Screw it. Why not? The other thing I was thinking in my head the other day, because I watched this trailer a few days ago before recording this, is I kind of like the idea that this could be another Christmas horror film that people could watch every year around Christmas. Hey, let's watch Terrifier 3. It's a Christmas film. I love that idea. There is one random shot where Art the Clown is dressed as Santa and he looks like he's at one of those places where you would go to get a photo with Santa. Like you take your kids to the mall and you get your photo taken with Santa and you sit on his lap or whatnot. It looks like it's one of those setups. So I'm really curious, is this another one of those like dream montages, kind of like what they did in Terrifier 2 with the clown cafe sequence? Is it going to be something like that? Or is this a a real situation because I'm really curious how Art the Clown is at some kind of public gathering. Is he going to go on some kind of mass killing spree in a mall or something like that? Like, I don't know what's going on here, but I'm really excited to see how that particular scene all plays out. There is a lot of quick little shots of things in this that I really could not even grab any kind of screenshots of. They were just so blurry. I couldn't put it in the video because it would just be a blurry mess. You'd be like, what am I looking at? But if you go watch the trailer, you will see that there's uh, some kind of couple making out or whatnot in the shower and Art the Clown seems to bust in through the glass of the shower and ruin their day. There's another random little sequence where Art the Clown is covered in cobwebs and spider webs or whatnot and somebody's looks like they're trying to get a photograph or something of him. So I'm kind of curious what's going on there. And he's just sitting really still, you know, kind of trying to look like a mannequin or some shit. And it looks like he's going to scare the shit out of this guy and then probably kill him in a very brutal fashion. If you've seen Terrifier 1 and you've seen Terrifier 2, you know that this movie is going to be absolutely brutal. The last thing I'll say before ending this video is I love the Terrifier films and I think Damien Leone is knocking them out of the park. But I must say that once Terrifier 3 is done, 
and it's out. I really would like to see Damian Leone go and direct something else, something else that is not Art the Clown, just anything. And I don't care what studio he does it for. I don't care if he does it himself. I don't care if he goes to a big studio like Lionsgate or some shit. Just for heaven's sake, do not go to Blumhouse. I want to see Damien Leone do something other than Art the Clown. Maybe give Art the Clown a rest for a few years. Let him lay dormant for a while. Maybe go off and direct a movie or two and then come back and do Terrifier 4. That's just my opinion. I just want to see him branch out a little bit and do something else because I think he has some great potential to do some awesome things. But that being said, Terrifier 3 looks great. Cannot wait for October 11th. As always, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to leave a comment letting us know your thoughts on these trailers. Again, all the trailers are linked below along with our store and social media pages. Until next time.